Hey guys and girls, and thank you for watching another episode of the Xbox Tester. My name is Maurice. Today we're getting a look at the Outer World Spacer's Choice Edition running on Xbox Series S. So this is a, yeah, best of version of the game. Came out like a few months ago and um, it has all the extra DLCs and stuff inside of it. It's also fully optimized for the new gen consoles-ish. Uh, and yeah, let's just dive in. First of all, let's see how much data this game is. And it's 55.1 GB. Game is, I think, semi on Game Pass. No, this one is not on Game Pass. The other version is on Game Pass. This version needs to be bought because it's like a, yeah, full blown edition with everything and blah, blah, blah. And yeah, so this is a standalone version of the game. Uh, the game is fully optimized for the new gen consoles, Xbox Gen 9, Gen Scarlet. I must say, I would wait for a deep sale for this game. Um, you guys, if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot for me, you're really helping out this channel. You can also hit the bell icon. I upload almost on a yeah, daily basis, new games, old games, updates on games. Even a little bit of hardware here and there, sometimes, really sometimes. <laughs> the Outer World Spacer's Choice Edition, made by Obsidian. That's now a first party Xbox exclusive studio. So they just released, I think it's called Pentiment, a few, uh, few months ago. And a really cool game, by the way. Really original, not something you would expect from a studio like Obsidian. But yeah, this is their first original IP and it feels a little bit like a um, Fallout New Vegas in space. It's completely over the top, it's uh, insane. It's gorgeous, look at these graphics, I think it's gorgeous. By the way, it's 1080p at up. 60 fps and i'm saying that correctly because yes the game still has some frame drop i must say i also played it on my series x these last couple of days and i've played it on my playstation 5 these last couple of days and the series s is one of the most stable at 60 fps yeah you wouldn't expect that i also don't know why that is But, hey, here we are. It is what it is. Then again, the resolution is a lot lower than on those systems. Because on Series X and PlayStation 5, the game both runs at up to 14, uh, 4K dynamic that can go as low as like um, 1440. So yeah, it is what it is. But I must say, at first when this um, compilation came out, or this best of, or the Spacer's Choice Edition, however you want to call it, um, Game of the Year Edition, they have so many names for versions like this, this complete edition of the game with all the extra DLCs, It's, it's okay. It's, it, it runs 10 times better than it did. Ah, oh, darn it. Go on, stay still. Let me shoot you. Here we go. That's better. And I think this game looks gorgeous. 
they really up the graphics. If you put them both next to each other, you can see what a big difference this game actually is. You know, the, 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 the Game Pass version of the game is, is perfectly fine. It's the Xbox One game that uh, I think it even has like a um, performance mode. But this, this, this version is definitely something else. No, I'm going to keep the impact hammer. Why can't I? Huh? Where's that beautiful gun? I had this beautiful gun. Where is it? Too bad it's gone, I think. Probably. Look at that volcano. This is absolutely gorgeous. For a Series S. And if you are into games like, like uh, Fallout, Skyrim and stuff. And you haven't played this game, I can highly recommend it. Move along, stranger. Do it. We don't want any trouble. I don't know you. Whatever you If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. Whatever. I have. Excuse me. I'm skipping everything. Let's hear it. What? Level three. <clears throat> Skill and points, yeah, sure. And we're done. Really, really cool game. But yeah, you guys, this is um, the Outer Worlds Spacers Choice Edition running on a Xbox Series S. And it's, it's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Only thing I would say is get it cheap. You know, get it when it's on sale. Don't run for it at 60 euros. Uh, 30, maybe 40 is more than enough for this. Thank you for watching. Hope you had fun. Hope to see you guys soon in another one. <laughs> Bye.